trace around your hands using pencil and paper. Then you can use this tracing to make a template out of plastic or you can uh, just glue it onto cardboard and make your template that way. Use this template to trace around the hand shape on lightweight double-sided fusible. Follow the manufacturer's directions to adhere the fusible to the back of your fabric. I recommend trying one or two hands before cutting everything out. If you find that those hands don't stick, then you'll need to adjust your iron settings. Use sharp scissors to carefully cut out 28 hands and the numbers 1 through 24. I like to use a pin or scissors to score the back to make it easier to peel the paper off. To make the pockets, you will need to cut out three strips that are five and a half inches by 25 inches long. Put right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around. I have one here sewn up. I've used red thread. You'll use matching thread. So you start here, quarter inch seam allowance all the way till you get to the other end. Make sure you leave one edge open so you can turn it inside out. After the strips are pressed, you'll need to mark lines every three inches for the pockets. When you get to the end, you'll have a little extra left over. Turn this to the inside. It takes a while to fool with it and press like I've done here. You will not need to sew this down until this gets attached to the background fabric. Now you're ready to hear the numbers. Peel off the paper backing, center the number in your pocket, and press with a hot dry iron. After all the numbers have been pressed in place, I like to machine stitch around the edges to make sure that the numbers won't come off. Lay out your hands and pockets on your fabric. Now you're ready to press the hands down. I put a large beach towel on my table to help with the pressing. Then I use a hot dry iron. To make the quilt sandwich, take the back right side down to a table, then position the batting and top. Notice the back and batting are larger than the top. To get the quilt ready for machine quilting, I safety pin the layers together, starting in the center and working my way out. I quilt around the hands and then the background, and then I cut away the excess fabric. Next, I add the pockets and the buttons. After pinning the pockets in place, I stitch around the edge, and then I stitch on the marked lines. To finish off the quilt, I add the binding. Then I like to stuff the pockets with candy. You can also fill the pockets with tiny objects that can be hung on the tree. For more detailed instructions, please visit learnhowtoquilt.com under Quilt Classes, the Advent Quilt. Don't forget to send us a photo of your completed project so we can post it in our gallery. Happy Holidays to you and your family.